Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for Simon Says Stamp and I have a mixed media project that I've created using a Tim Holtz vignette box which is sealed and full of mica flakes for a shaker box. I'm going to start off by priming the inside of the box using some Dina Wakely white gesso. And what this gesso is going to do is lock any of the stain from the box coming through. I'll be adding some crackle paste for the next layer and I just want it to be white with dry brush strokes. So for the gesso, I'm just applying a heavier coating at the top, and right now it looks like the bottom, and I'm pulling it up to get those random brush strokes. While my gesso is drying, I'm going to trim down a bottle brush tree. I need this to sit flat inside the box since I'll be sealing it with some acetate. So I'm just using some scissors and I'm running up the back to flatten that out, and I'll keep checking it to see if it fits in the box, and if not, I can take it back out and trim off some more. You might want to try cutting this over a trash can since all those little bristles will fling everywhere, and keeping it contained might be a cleaner option. Now that I have my tree trimmed up, I'm using some speckled egg spray stain, and I'm just going to spray this on that front side, and then I can turn it to the back side. I want to make sure it's completely covered. And once I'm done spraying, I'll stand it upright to dry. And now I'm adding in some of the crackle paste and I'm putting it down with a palette knife and smoothing it out with my finger. I want to continue the randomness of those brush strokes that I had from the gesso and I'm also pushing it up into that crease using the palette knife. By smoothing with my finger it gives me a nice texture when it's done drying. For the outside of the box I'll be adding some wood grain cardstock and I'm using collage medium for this. And I've already cut my strips of the gray two-tone wood grain paper from Tim Holtz. And I'm applying the collage medium with a brush. And I want to make sure I get a nice heavy amount on the edges and corners since those will be the first to peel up if they're not covered well. And now I can cover it with the paper on all four sides. I've cut the Aiden Snowflake from Simons' Stamp using the Silver Matte cardstock. And to place this down into the box, I'm using some Simon Says Stamp glue and just going along the lines of the design. And then I can place it in the upper right corner and press that down in place. I've drilled a hole in the back of the box and I've strung some tiny lights around the tree and they light up really beautifully. I want to make sure that everything fits and once I'm sure of that, I'll use some ultra thick gel medium from Dina Wakely with a palette knife just onto the base of that tree and press that down in place. I've used the Tim Holtz Sizzix Harvey die and I've cut that out from white paper and then colored it with some Copic markers. These are really fabulous dies because each of the pieces tells you what color each piece is. For the top of his hat, I'll be using one of the snowflake adornments and I want to cut off the top ring by using my snippers to snip that off. And to glue the snowflake in place, I'm using just a dab of the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue, and then I can place the snowflake just at the top. I'm starting to prepare for the shaker element of the box, and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Red Line Tape, and this is the 1 8 inch size, and I'll be adding this all around the front edges of the box. Next, I have pulled apart a cotton ball and I'm using my hot glue gun and I'll be placing the cotton around the base of the box. I found it's really easy to do a little bit at a time and I can pull these really randomly and then adding some glue and then placing each piece in. I also want to make sure that I tuck this really well into the front of the box so that it doesn't overhang and touch that red line tape. With my cotton in place and Harvey at the ready, I'm adding a line of hot glue and I'm just going to place Harvey right down in place. Sorry, it's a top view, but I have to be able to see. And I want to make sure that I have him sealed well so now he can stand next to his tree. Once I have Harvey secured from the back, I can also add some more cotton and hot glue in the front so that he's really sturdy. I've cut a piece of the Simon Says Stamp acetate sheet to fit the entire front of the box. And first I want to make sure that I have all of the little cotton pieces out of the way and I can remove the strip at the bottom and also a little bit from the side. I want to have a little hanging off tail. And now I can align the acetate just to the bottom of the box before I set everything down in place. Once I'm happy with my alignment, I can press that down 
and now I can remove the rest of the tape backing. Next I'll lift the corner and I'll use some of the mica flakes from Tim Holtz and I'll start sprinkling these inside. And then I can shake this around and make sure I have the amount that I want. And then I can remove the rest of the adhesive strips and press everything down in place. This is a really easy way to make a fun, interactive display for the holidays with a little bit of shaker action. To finish off the outside of the box, I'm using the Tim Holtz Ideology Design Tape and I'm just running a strip around each of the sides, just covering up the adhesive underneath. And when I'm done, I'll snip off the ends and secure each of the corners with a little bit of glue. I've also added a ribbon tied in a bow with a word plate from Tim Holtz. And I really love how this project turned out, especially once we turn the lights on and let it glow at night. I have all my supplies listed in the description box below, along with a link to our blog post for more information. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Heidi, Simon's Mama and founder at SimonSaysStamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.